Hey guys, it's Gorgeous Project All One here with another episode of Modding with Minecraft Forge. And today I'm going to be doing a detailed walkthrough on how to add a name to your game. How to add names to your blocks, okay? I've demonstrated this in the item tutorial. However, I'm going to make this simple and clear to understand because I didn't explain, I didn't exactly show you properly inside of the block tutorial. Okay, so this episode is only going to be demonstrating how to add block names and item names, okay? So only we're showing them how to do that. It's probably a more efficient way to do it than this, but this is the way I do it. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to wherever your MCP is saved. Mine would be inside of my documents, inside of my programming folder, inside of my MCPs folder, and then inside my YouTube tutorials folder. Okay, so you see I've got my MCP workspace in here. What it wants to do is want to open up source, open up main, open up Java, and that is it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to right click. We're going to hit new folder and we're going to create a folder called assets. Like so. Okay. So that folder is used inside of the actual Minecraft thing, which add, that also adds names as far as I'm aware. And it's things that you can store textures in and other things like that in on later. So you can store textures in here. But we need to create a new folder inside of here and we're going to call it TM. Okay. You want The reason I call it TM, you, you'll call it whatever your mod ID is is because it's my modded ID inside of here. It makes things a hell of a lot easier later on. And make sure that this the folder name is in lower case. Okay. So once we're inside the assets TM folder, I'm going to right click, hit new folder, and I'm going to call this folder lang, which stands for language, okay? It has to be called lang. It can't be called language, it's called lang, okay? Because that's how Minecraft Forge recognizes it. Or Minecraft itself recognizes it, I should say. Okay? We're going to add other folders in here throughout the tutorials called textures and other things like that. I'm sorry for talking really slow, but it's a very basic tutorial, but it can be very easy to slip up on. Okay. So we're going to open up Lang. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit new. And then I'm going to hit text document. Okay. I'm going to call this en underscore us. Make sure that, that en underscore then us is capital and it's wrote exactly like that. So I'm going to open that up, I'm going to hit file, I'm going to hit save as, and rather than having it save as a text document, I'm going to hit all files, and I'm going to add .lang on the end of it, because it's a lang file. Okay, so it won't be a text document or we'll anymore, it'll be a lang file, but we can still open it inside of a text editor. Okay, I'm going to hit save, and see so we now have that .lang folder. I'm going to hit delete on the en underscore us text document, because we, don't, we no longer need that. Okay. Now I'm going to open up my Eclipse. And inside of Eclipse, you see we have the assets folder, assets.tm.lang. And you see we have that that file we just created in there. And here is where we're actually be registering the names. First, I'm going to show you how to make, uh, register an item name. So I'm going to open up my item um, class. And then I'll show you how to add a block name. Okay, so to register an item name, what you want to do is you want to type item dot and then whatever your unlike unlocalized name is. So my unlocalized name is tut item. So it'll be item dot tut item dot name. I'm gonna hit equal. There's no space after the name. It has to be uh, the equal has to be right after name. And then there's no space again. And then you type whatever you want to call that. So I'm gonna call mine tutorial um item. Okay. We can actually have two lang. Uh, lang files, but I prefer to keep them one if I were you. Okay, so we've actually cut, actually registered that name up now, okay? But now we want to do blocks. How do you do blocks, you might ask? Well, it's virtually the same. Apart from right, rather put an item, it's not block. You write tile, because blocks of classes tiles for some odd reason. Uh, tile dot your unlocalized name for that block, or uh, the set block name. So mine would be tut block. dot name equal sign tutorial block okay so say we didn't have this file okay let's say I just didn't explain it that items in game will show up as for the tutorial item it will show up as item dot tut name dot name and for block it will show up as tile dot tut block dot name okay so those two there um these actually register, change the names of these things. So we see we have 
it will change the name of tut item uh, to tutorial item, uh, tutorial space item, sorry, and the name of tile.tutplot.name to tutorial space block. Okay, so actually, if we run this game, run the client, and we can actually demonstrate this. Okay, so I can go to single player, I can run the world. And you see, we actually have the names for this, for these two things. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this made a bit more sense than the uh, off tutorials I had out uh, than, the, than the last, the official tutorials for the, how to make the block and how to make the item. But uh, this should hopefully explain it and how to do it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.